Hello and welcome to making goggles. We are going to make the large goggles today. You can do exactly the same thing and make the small goggles. It works just as well. And for each goggle set there is a different size little extra what you call these things um, like optical lens and these work really well with the Christmas ornaments so the ones that I have found which you can purchase in most hobby shops all over the world is the six centimeter one and the four centimeter one so the six centimeter one works over the big goggles and the four centimeter one works over the small goggles it is a little bit big but it does still work you can just fill that in with some craft foam so I have um, just kit cut some kitties craft foam up and you can add that around the edge to make that um, fit a little bit better so I'm going to be doing the large goggles for this I'm going to put those ones on one side to attach these to the Christmas ornament you can either use from the hardware store and yet they come in brass and in silver um, the two millimeter screws with nuts the other thing that I also use are the scrapbooking brads and to put the enlargement thing on I use the big bubbles by Stamperia and the large one works with the large goggles and the medium one works with the smaller goggles then I have provided a PDF with the different size uh, templates this is for the large one it's identical for the smaller one but obviously it fits the smaller one you only need to cut one template but what I do is I mark it side one and that's if my pencil has lead side one and side two simply because you need um, opposite shapes or you will have two eyes that are the same uh, squiffness um, I have of course used the texture impression sheet uh, listed in the products needed um, K3PTA5602 then I will be using my extra forte glue of course we will need scissors a pencil and whatever color paints you want to make your um, goggles um, for today's example I'm going to be making these goggles so I am using the copper paint, oh sorry, bronze, KAL33 and turquoise. So it's bronze, but it, I call it copper. It's a very copper color. And this is the sample that we will be making today. To get started, we are going to just pop everything on one side and we are going to trace the goggle shape so there's two ways of doing this you can either trace on the side you are going to cut out I prefer not to because then it means that I can see my pencil if I don't cut accurately so for this I prefer to cut here and what I like to do is just see if I can save some of the papers so I don't want to cut into this design because I can still use that so I'm going to do one over here and flip it over and you can do it back to back so that you don't have to cut it twice so I'm just making sure that that lines up press hard enough on your design so that you can actually see your line to cut out easily and there we have it I'm gonna just repeat that because I did not press hard enough to be able to see clearly on this print perfect so 
Now with my scissors, I'm going to cut this out. And I find it easier to cut right around the outside for this and then cut down the middle. I always turn my paper. It makes for me cutting a little bit more accurate because it means that I can see the line that I'm supposed to be following. And that can be kept for another project. Chopping off the top there and running down the middle. Okay, so we have those ready. And now we're going to paint. So for this I will need my little craft sheet or in fact I prefer to recycle some packaging. So I have some plastic packaging here that I'm just going to recycle and we're going to get painting. Right, I've zoomed in so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. You just need a soft bristled brush, some of the bronze paint, and I'm going to use my plastic packaging um, as my palette, and then I'm going to need a little bit of the turquoise for dry brushing on the end. So this covers really really nicely you really only need to paint the bridge at the top and the bottom the um, what would you know in glasses we call that a bridge so in goggles I'm calling that a bridge as well um, you don't really need to paint the outside because you're not going to see that I just make sure that a little bit of my paint does go um, onto the outside frame simply because I don't want to see a gap between where the paper is going to go and um, where my painting has ended. And then you need to make sure that you paint on the inside. Sorry, that was my doorbell. Um, so we need to paint on the inside of the lens where the lens area is and we will have to give this all two coats so just make sure that I have covered everywhere as I said just make sure that that edge is painted and then you can turn it around and do the other side so because we haven't really painted the outside I can hold it here um, just give it one coat this paint dries very very quickly obviously depending on where you live and the weather it will uh, vary so my flat is particularly warm so it dries quite quickly so probably by the time I have finished painting that piece it will be dry enough to be able to do a second coat now when I poured my resin I poured it really really thick um, that's really not a problem so what I'm going to do is just take my pokey tool and poke through and then I'm going to take a scalpel uh, which is always here at my desk hmm there it is so I'm just going to take a scalpel and open that up. 
So having made the hole, it then makes it nice and easy to get the scalpel in. So it's very easy to fix if that does happen. And now I'm going to paint this eyepiece. Now the trick is that you need to paint both sides because you will see both sides and you need to paint the outside. So and I'm off shot. So you need to paint inside and the outside. And for that I'm going to pop it flat. And now I'm going to do the second coat on this one. The metallic colors are always very translucent when you put them on a slick surface. So you definitely need to do two coats. And it goes quite quickly. Now we can turn this piece over, do the other side. Do the inside. Let that dry for a few minutes. I'm just going to double check, yes, I thought so, where my finger stuck to the wet paint it pulled a little bit off so just touching that up perfect so those look good to go this is probably ready for second coat on the outside let that dry for a few minutes and Turn it over, give a second coat on the back. Right, I am not even going to wash my brush, I'm just going to use a piece of paper towel because I don't want any water in my brush and I'm just going to clean it on the paper towel. Take the excess off and now I want very little paint on my brush and I'm going to just highlight here and there with a little bit of the turquoise to make it look a bit like patina. So I put more in some places than others and so some places you can be quite generous and other places not so generous. It's really just um, personal choice. You could do this with other colors. You could use the brick red, you could use the earth and so on. So that is that is the colors that I've done there. And then same for the little lens, giving it just a couple of dabs of the turquoise just to make it look like it's patinaed. And don't forget to do the reverse side as well. Great. Happy with that. And what I'm going to do at this stage is I'm going to put the plastic bubbles on. So I need the large one for this. And I'm going to use my extra Forte glue because I want this to sit and dry while I'm gluing on the edges. And I'm going to put the glue just on directly on the that's it my glue. I must have left my glue open, so we'll just clean its nozzle.
put the glue just around the rim of the inside of the lens and you don't need vast amounts just a little bit pop your lens on top give it a good squish and leave it on one side to dry I'm going to leave this on one side I'm going to leave that paint there because once I have glued the um, paper to the lens I'm going to make it look like it is um, joined by putting some paint onto the paper so we're going to slide this over there and if your resin hasn't poured exactly accurately you can take a sanding block a emery board a piece of sandpaper and just remove the excess so that you have a nice smooth flat edge to glue The rest is all quite, quite good. We'll just make sure that that side is smooth. There we go. Perfect. So that just happens sometimes with the molds when you over pour the resin. And just wiping that clean. Now we're going to start with the short side on the inside. So we're going to start like so and work it around. And then it is going to be too long, and that is intentional so that it can join over there. But you have to remove a little slip of paper from there so we need to just mark where it is going to join up so let's just double check that I'm gonna run it around the lens until it meets that point and then I'm going to draw a line so I just draw a little mark where the lens joins up and what I do is about the same width or not quite of the um, of the plastic I'm going to just trim away a strip like that so now what will happen is it should fit all the way around like so and then this will tuck underneath the nose and come up the other side so I think I need to go and trim a little bit more off so we do this until it fits perfectly so keep measuring yes I need to take a little bit more off I'm actually this time going to bend it um, Right, one last test. Okay, that fits. Then I know that it will fit on the other side, so I am going to flip over the other one and draw the same shape there and cut it out the last thing we have to do is add some glue so we're back to our extra forte and I'm gonna put glue all the way around the edge of the 
mold. Okay, so I have glue all the way around the edge of the mold. I'm going to grab my piece with the short side, start it at the top of the bridge and run it around all the way to the other side. And this last little bit over here, I'm going to run a little bit of glue because that is going to now hold onto the paper that is there. And that is my first goggle lens finished. So that one is done. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just adding the glue all the way around the lens. Starting at the top where the bridge is with the short side, running it all the way around. So, and then where the piece of paper sticks out, where we trimmed off, again add some glue and join it up because this is what helps to hold everything in place. Just make sure that your, your paper has not slipped forward. So you want it right on the edge of the mold. And now we're gonna take our brush again which I've had sitting in water, so I need to dry it. And we're just going to link up the sort of patinering a little bit onto the paper here and there, just to make it look like it's a little bit more authentic. You can even take a little bit of the bronze onto the paper if you so wish. turquoise just to make them not look quite so new pop that back in the water we can pop that on one side now we need our lens our glue and the half a Christmas ornament. For some reason, I personally prefer it on the right hand side. It's just personal preference. There's no reason why you can't have it on the left hand side, but I prefer to put it on the right hand side. And so you will find that the uh, Christmas ornament is slightly bigger than the actual um, mold, which is fine because it means that we can have a little bit more glue space there. I normally line up the hangy bit of the Christmas ornament with one of these dots um, that are on the um, lens of the goggle and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue all the way around the outside edge 
and I know that there's a lot of lens touching over there so I'm going to put more and then over here I'm just running it just on the inside and here where the bridge is I definitely need some glue and the extra forte glue will dry clear so at this stage you are seeing the whiteness of the glue but that will disappear and I'm lining up while it's still wet and I can still wiggle it I am lining up the that dot with that dot over there and this is where you have a choice of using either the screws if you've been to the hardware store or um, one of these brads. So let's get a brad out. If you are using a brad, you will need to glue it in place because otherwise it will come loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue around there pop that in then we are going to put some glue on the Christmas ornament put that at the angle you want it and then using your pokey tool you can open up the split pin at the back like so and squash it with your fingers so the glue the split pin is there to anchor it and the glue is there to make sure that it all stays in one place so I'm going to leave that to dry Um, I want it at that angle so I'm going to leave it on my glue like that to dry and it's as easy as that you don't of course have to put the lenses on you could glue the lens directly onto the goggle like so or like so you could use a combination of the big one and the small one this is where your imagination is and your particular project is where things will take you so that is the basic composition of how to put together your goggles these ones should fit your face these are designed for an adult face the smaller ones are designed for a fascinator hat have fun <laughs>